is that the Saudis own the largest gasoline refinery in the United States, down in Texas. And what did they do in, uh, in 2022 during the election when the gas prices rose? They shut down the refinery for a couple of weeks. They said it was for maintenance. Well, you know, we've got to do maintenance here. So here's the problem with our news organizations today. Specifically, anybody that talks about politics, like old Tom here. I don't know Tom that well. I've never watched Tom. But just in a couple of videos I've watched tonight, that dude is eat up with dumbass. He knows nothing about the oil and gas industry, but apparently insists on talking about it like he does. So as you saw in that video and my prior video, he says that Saudi closed down their refinery last year right before an election. No. No, they didn't. They did shut down a single CDU, which is a crude distillation unit, in September. They did not shut down the whole refinery. That's bullshit. And it just so happens that September and January are the two best months of the year to do refinery maintenance. Why? Because September and January are the two months where gasoline demand falls the most throughout those next couple of months, the seasonal demand. September and January, those are the two good months. In September, everyone has gone back to school. And it is that kind of period between everyone going back to school and the start of the holiday season, November, December. So in September, demand falls by a lot and gas prices fall by a lot. And that carries on through September and October. And then in November, demand starts to creep up a little bit through November and December for the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays. You see these two charts here with these big drops? These are demand lines. These both are in September and October. When demand falls, gas prices fall. And that means refiners' margins are the smallest. When their profit margins are the smallest is the best time for them to do maintenance. You don't want to do maintenance during a high demand time of the year. That's when you make your most money. So they did maintenance on a single unit at the refinery. They didn't shut down the refinery, and they did it during the best time of the year. They did it when gas prices had fell by like $1.40 a gallon already. Yeah, these are 2022 gas prices. They did that refinery maintenance right in here when the gas prices had fallen a lot. It's the best time to do it. The problem with being a political show host or news media is you try to tie politics to every decision everyone makes. You try to figure out some way to tie, politi to tie politics to that. It's not a thing. Why isn't he talking about what the refinery just did this year? You see, the exact same refinery, the Motiva refinery in Port Arthur, was scheduled to do maintenance this month, March of this year, right now. But this is not a great time of the year to do maintenance because this is the time of the year when demand starts picking up. So even though those crude distillation units and the coker was supposed to be shut down this month for maintenance, they moved it back and they did it back in January when demand was the lowest. Why? Because that's how they lose the least amount of money for, for when they are shut down. That's when their profit margin is the smallest. It has nothing to do with Donald Trump. It has nothing to do with an election. It is what every refinery in this country does. And just because that refinery is owned by Motiva, which is owned by the Saudis, means they do anything any different. And trust me, I can't believe this idiot is making me defend the Saudis. That's the last thing I want to do. But this is basic knowledge stuff. So if you're going to be a political pundit, if you're going to be a reporter, try to learn something about what you're talking about before you run your mouth about shit you know nothing about and look like a fool on TV. Thanks, Tom.